Hi everyone, today is Ocean Day, and for that I have decided to make myself a little octopus friend. To start with, I'm going to pick a ball shape, get to a front view, and box select the ends. Now I'm going to drag it in and form a little alien head for myself. Because let's be honest, octopi kind of look like aliens, don't they? Now I'm going to pick a cone shape. This is going to make the mouth of my octopus. I'll rotate it onto its side. Make it smaller. Put it onto the head, making sure that it's well attached. And I want to make some eyes, so I'm going to pick a torus, turn it on its side, and remove half of the material. Once I've removed that material, I'm going to size my eye and put it where I want it. When I'm happy, I'm going to make a copy by holding in control and using my arrow. Now that that's done, I want to move them onto the face. You can see they stick out a bit, so I'm going to rotate them a bit just to make sure they are firmly attached. I want my mouth to look a little bitty more like a map, so I'm going to pick a torus and put it on its side. Now I'm going to make it smaller and attach it to the cone that I used for my mouth. Now it looks a little bit better, doesn't it? Once I'm happy with this, I want to give my octopus a body. So I'm going to pick a cone and move it to the side. I want to turn off two scale handles and squish my body down. Now that I'm happy, I'm going to move it underneath the head. Now for the fun part, we have to make his legs! So we're going to use add material and make it a bit smaller if it's not the right size. You can make it as long as you want. For this first one I've just chosen six blocks. Now we'll box select corners and go nuts with it. Put it up, down, to the side, round and round, it's up to you. Make him as funky as you want. Now that I'm happy with my first one, I have to make eight more. Because you know, an octopus has eight legs. Now that I'm happy with my four, I just copied them to make eight. 
If you're happy with your octopus, just check all around to see that everything is nicely attached. Now you can change the title and save your project. Now that that's all done, let's go to style it and give him some colour. You can choose whatever colour you want. I've just chosen some nice light blues and some purples. Now that that's done, I want to put him underwater. So I'm going to go to my scenes and choose my ocean. There we go, my octopus is where he's supposed to be. In the water! Thanks so much for joining me guys!